were um, in the midst of fencing and ah, we spent all <laughs> morning buggerising around, pumping up tyres and finding shovels and getting all the gear together and we got everything together and now we're looking around for a few strainer posts and posts for where the gate posts and all that go because you put all that in first. So I'm just looking around some of this old timber that come down in Cyclone Yazi and looking around for some fence posts and there's one here I think we can get. I'll just measure it up and what I'll do is I'll cut them all and then I'll um, bring the tractor back and lay them on the ute and take them over to where we're going to fence. <coughs> fence post over kill but it'll make a really good gate post once I put it buddy three foot in the ground in the ground up to here plenty for a post and it'll be last forever this log here is the sapwoods rotted off it but actually the logs really good and I'd say it's hard I'll put the saw in it and I'd say it's I'd say that it's um, hard inside it's just it's only usually the sapwood that rots on them, nothing else. So I'll see how we go with it. <coughs> solid inside, beautiful. In fact I can probably get another big one out of here
solid. The Nance nest around the bottom of it and they didn't like it much. You'll notice here that I'm working really slowly and I'm not lifting the post very high off the ground. Um, it doesn't look very sloped but the tractor is on a fair sideways slope there and I'm really reluctant to um, lift it up the post up too high because the <clears throat> you know you can imagine if you go in a hole or anything and that post way up in the air, the um, leverage on the load is such that it'll tip the tractor over, so I've got to be very careful. And uh, anyway, we'll see how we get on with it and get it all loaded and see what happens then. Just where I was loading this uh, log, there's a bloody lantana bush there going up under it to beside it. I just thought I'd remove it to show you just how easy they are to get out. Um, what I'll do here is I'll drop it on the ground and get all the dirt back off the roots of it and just show you how small the roots actually are. You know, after a bit of rain, 
they just take no removing at all. It's really, um, you know, like you need a really narrow thing, like a bucket like that's not ideal. But we'll just show you about how much root is actually under them and bugger all and the roots are right on top of the ground. Well, we got the six posts loaded and didn't have too many dramas, uh, the normal sort of things. And uh, tomorrow we're going to start putting them in the ground. And thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you next time.